Hi everyone. I finally managed to get my hands on one of these new Class 25s from Helltran and quite a few people have already been asking me what sound I'm going to fit and how I'm going to fit it so I thought rather than just do various posts online with pictures I'd do a quick video to make it easier for people. Um, so I've already opened it just to make it a bit quicker for the video but you've got four screws for quite long. Um, so I just took them out with a nice fine screwdriver. Um, you probably can't see too well, um, but you have to turn the, the bogey to each side and the, the screws are just underneath. Uh, once you do lift it off, there's a plug and socket which you have to be careful of. So I've already undone it, but it goes into, if you forget when you've uh, put it back together, CN1 which you might just be able to see, but it goes into CN1. Um, it's just for the, probably the head code lights, I think. So you'll see there's quite a lot of space. It's quite a lot, it's quite a basic circuit board. Um, so really it's good for sound fitting. So what my first thought is that I might put one of the 25 by 25 by 7 megabase speakers at each end. I think that's probably the best sound you'll get without any kind of serious work. Um, so I'm literally just going to take these foam pads off and I'll use some at thinner to hold that. Um, and yeah, I'll probably just use captain tape to hold them wires in place. And then I'll be able to stick these over the top with a little bit of black tack. Um, it all seems a little bit flimsy, but I think it'll be, be fine once it's all together. And obviously the decoder's a 21 pin that's just going to sit there. I'm going to start with Southwest Digital Sound, because um, I like their Class 25 sound file. But obviously different sound files are available, so there'll be a few different ones to try. Um, and I'm sure I'll try a few of them myself. So I'm gonna go and put the speakers in, and then I'll uh, I'll come back and we'll we'll have a look at it running. The sounds fitted to the model now, uh, the two speakers and the sound decoder. Obviously, these are just held on with black tack, um, so they're fairly secure, and it, it's a nice little bit of sound deadening as well and then the decoder just pushes on. I've just put a bit of tape over the wires to hold them in place and obviously some heat shrink over the joints to make sure it's fully insulated. So yeah, it were a nice easy one to do and hopefully once I get the body back on and run it round it's going to sound as good as I think it will. Um, so if this is something you want to try yourself, these speakers and the sound decoder are both available on my website. Uh, I'll put a link in the description so you can find the right ones. And let me know what you think in the comments. If you like it, let me know and uh, I'll do other videos like this in the future if people find it useful.